Hi, I'm back and I've got the project all ready. But let's just do a quick review. Do you remember? We looked at carrot seeds. Look how small they are. Look how small they are. Hmm. And then we saw pictures of carrots. They grow into this, right? This part that's in the ground, the orange part, is the part that we eat. We actually eat the root. The root. This is the root of the carrot, that orange part. That's what we eat. And this is the part that shows above the ground. I wanted to show you something. I don't have any carrots growing in my garden, but I had the sunflower, so I want to show it to you again. Look, those are the roots. There's the leaves. On a carrot, we eat the root. On a sunflower, it grows a beautiful, beautiful flower like this. And these are the sunflower seeds in there. The sunflower seeds, they go in just like that. The sides of them. So you see the back end only from the sunflower. And then we eat that part of a sunflower. But yet, we eat the roots of a carrot. That's amazing. Well, today, we're gonna make a carrot garden. So, I want you to find your brown piece of paper with numbers on it. One, two, three, four, five, inch by inch, Row by row, we're going to make this garden grow. And then I want you to find your carrots and your green triangles that Mrs. Campbell so kindly separated for you and got ready, just like this. Now, Mrs. Bowes did a little work ahead of time because I didn't want you to have to wait for me. So, first, we are going to take this and we're going to turn it around. How are we going to know that this is ours? I think we should work on writing our name. So get out your name tag and let's write our name. So today I've decided I'm going to write my first name. And I don't write my first name upside down very often. So let's see if I can do this. And my name is Jennifer. My cat is moving my blinds behind me. I don't know if you can see that. He's batting on him. There we go. Up backwards and upside down. I just wrote my name. <gasps> Did I write it? Oh, no, I did it right. Okay, good. All right, so now you are done with that. This is gonna be your little garden. Do you guys see how it has a little pouch? I'm gonna slide your carrots in there, but first we have to make them. So, you're gonna find your carrot. This has the number one on it, and we're gonna cut it out. So we're gonna put our thumb in the small hole, fingers in the large hole, and we're gonna keep that thumb working really hard, straight up and down, and I'm gonna start at the tip of the carrot. And I'm gonna put my blade on the line and I'm gonna very slowly, like a little tiny choo-choo train going on the track, open and shut my blade. Keep your thumb up, keep your thumb up. When you cut, when you cut, you can cut with scissors, you can cut with scissors, open, shut. Open, shut. See how my hands are on the other side, away from my scissor blade? You guys see that? And I'm going very slowly in and out. I'm taking my time. Now, if your hand gets tired, it's okay to do this a little bit at a time. It's okay. There, there's my carrots. And I told you I did a little work ahead of time so you didn't have to sit through me cutting out every carrot. So one, two, the number three, four, 
four, five. Now, if we look at our carrot from the book, what's on the top? That's green. Carrot leaves, right? So those triangles that are in there, you're gonna need to cut those out. So let's work on that real quick. Remember, thumb in the small hole, fingers in the large hole. This is Bo's, his fingers are big. You may need to slip a third finger in that hole. And I'm gonna start here on the tip. Here we go. And then I'm gonna line up my blade and then I'm gonna close it very slowly, making sure I'm doing my very best to keep it on the line. Cause I'm working on learning how to cut. And sometimes when we're learning to cut, it's really hard work and our fingers get tired. There we go. So this is gonna be the top of my carrot. It's gonna sit like this. Hmm. Now, you've got some more work to do. This is the number one. Mrs. Bose has decided to put one snip in my carrot, just like that. One snip, there's my wool leaves right there. And now I'm gonna take my glue stick and on back of my number one. Now, if I put glue on this side, my front is gonna show. See how my leaf is gonna show? But if I put it in the back, you can't see that tip. So we're gonna turn our carrot around so we can't see the one. And we're gonna put some glue right on that fat part of our carrot. Here we go. Right here, boop. Nice strip of glue. There's my carrot. There's my first one. My number one has a top. Now, hmm, here's my carrot with the number two on it. I think I'm gonna do two snips on this one. Now remember, this is your project and you can make it any way you want. This is Mrs. Bose's idea. You come up with your own. I can't wait to see what you do. So I'm gonna do two snips. One, two. Look, I made two snips and that made three parts. Now I'm gonna take my number two carrot and remember, I don't wanna put glue on this side. I'm gonna turn it around and put glue here. So here we go. Goopy, goopy, goopy. Mrs. Bose makes a mess when she glues, and that's okay. I do my best. There we go. Can you see how goopy? It's even sticking to my easel. Here we go. There's my two carrots. Now, here's my three, four, and five. Maybe on three, I could put three snips. One, two, three. Look at that fringe. It's kind of like a brush or a broom. So I'm gonna find my number three carrot and I'm gonna do the same thing. Not glue on this side, but glue on the side with nothing. And then Mrs. Bose is gonna make it goopy with my glue stick and put my carrot top on there. There you go, carrot number three done. Here is my next triangle. I'm trying to hurry. Okay, I'm gonna do four snips, ready? One, two, three, and four. Look at all those leaves on that carrot. Now turning it around and putting glue on this side, goopy, goopy, goopy. There's my carrot top with my number four. Now last one, last one, carrot number five. One, two, three, four, five. And my last triangle because I have five triangles. All right, I'm gonna do five snips. Here we go, one, two, three, four, and five. Five snips, look at that. That one's got lots of leaves. Turning around my fifth carrot and making it goopy on the back. Goopy, goopy, goopy. Putting my triangle on. There we go. Now, I can take my pocket and I could plant my carrots. So, 
gonna locate the number one on my pocket and I'm gonna find the number one carrot. The carrot with the number one. And I'm gonna slide it right in there. One. Now I'm gonna find the number. Does anybody know what number that is? One. What's your guess? Two. Yeah, there's my number two. I'm gonna slide him down. Ooh, he went underground. I hope the worms don't eat him. There's number two. Okay, next, my number three carrot. Number three. I'm gonna plant him right there. Ooh, it's hard to hold this and plant these while I'm talking to you guys, I'm sorry. There we go, adjusting, pinching the bottom. There. Now, number four carrot. Here's my carrot number four. I'm gonna match him right there. There's my number four. And my last number five. My number five carrot. And I'm gonna slide him into his match. Inch by inch and row by row, I'm gonna watch my carrots grow. Uh oh, here comes a bunny. He's looking pretty hungry. Mmm, carrots for lunch. There you go. That's your project. I hope you have a really great time doing it. I sure did. And remember, you have great ideas. Mrs. Bose did her tops like this, but maybe you've got an idea of your own. I'd love to see it. All right, see you soon.